The easiest way to quickly load a custom JavaScript or CSS in a child theme is to create a JS or CSS directory with the respective custom JS or custom CSS files. Let's start with custom JavaScript. For this example, I will just add an alert. Save the file as custom.js in our created JS directory. Now go back to the site with the activated child theme and refresh the page. And as you can see, our custom JavaScript is loaded. Now let's continue with custom CSS. Here I will just change the font color to red. Again, save the file as custom CSS in our CSS directory. Go back to the site and refresh it again. And as you can see, our custom CSS is loaded as well. Now let's load a custom font. Create a directory fonts and copy all the needed font files. Open our custom CSS file again. I will just load the font instead of the custom CSS we just added. Here we need to add a add font face rule and specify the font resources. In my case, the font family is Avara. The source is the fonts directory we just created. And the format is open type. Let's click save and go back to our site. Refresh the page and open the style customizer. Open the font picker. In our case, let's just change the primary font family. Now, instead of selecting one of the proposed fonts, type in the name of your custom font into the search field, in our case it's Vara, and hit the Enter key. And as you can see, the primary heading uses our custom font. Mind that there is no need to add a custom font manually in the child theme if it is already available in the style customizer. This is because when a Google font is selected in the style customizer, it is automatically downloaded to the web server and stored locally. There is no round trip to the Google Fonts server, which is great for page speed and GDPR compliance. 